In this module, we shall cover the many ways of obtaining different views in 2020 design. Firstly, we will cover getting different elevations of your plan. To do this, you can either select Add Elevation Area from the View pull down menu, or right mouse button, select the Work Area and select Add Elevation Area. To add an elevation, you simply highlight the placement zone, right mouse button, select, and choose Add Elevation Area. You will then note that the work area screen is split in two and can be resized using the splitter bar and the area can be zoomed using the standard zoom tools including the mice pan and zoom functions. To add the remaining elevations you simply repeat the previous steps and you will see additional tabs appear on the elevation screen as demonstrated. Select placement zone, add elevation area. You can also add sectional or side elevation views of your design. You follow a similar procedure to the elevation views in that you select the placement zone for the side elevation, then select the position on the cabinet that you wish to section, and then choosing the direction you wish to view the elevation. This will be displayed with the other elevation view tabs. You can also print these elevations by selecting print from the pull down menu or top toolbar. In this demonstration we will just select print preview. You will now see a standard print dialog box appear and you can select the range of pages to print or to print a specific page you select the selection option and click more, the more button. You can then select the pages you wish to print by placing a check mark against the tabs. You can also set the print scale for your design. This will vary on the size of your page and design. By selecting the OK, the preview will appear, and if required, you can then readjust the scale ratio by typing the value in and selecting the Apply Ratio button. You can flick through the pages of your design by selecting either of the previous or next buttons if you wish to adjust the position of the view in your design or layout, this can be done using the mover button and then you can then drag the design around the page as demonstrated. Once you are happy with the page layouts and you may want to adjust this on other pages, you can then print by selecting the print button or in this case we will just close the print preview. To remove the displayed elevations, you can simply right mouse button select and choose delete elevations area, or in this case I can select the undo button as creating them was the last function I performed. The next view we will look to create is a rendered elevation of our plan. This can be achieved by selecting the render from the pull down menu and choosing elevation. This will display a dialog box where we can adjust the view mode which we can then select it to be rendered in hidden line mode, color mode or texture mode with options on speed and quality. You can choose it to be done in grayscale and whether you wish to display the ceilings of floors. If you wish, you can also adjust the lighting options and for best results we suggest you check the smooth edges box. Display output can also be set based on screen size or by a user defined setting. Just note that the larger the resolution, the bigger the rendering and the longer it will be. If required, you can also set the room and ceiling floor textures. By selecting the view button and the placement zone, it will start the rendering process and depending on the speed of your computer, will vary in time to complete. Once completed, you can always adjust the display type by selecting the style and then selecting the green refresh icon or pressing the F5 key. This will re-render the design view, in this case, head and line display. This can be useful for the client to visualize the cabinets in the selected placement zone as a pure line drawing. The next rendering mode we will show is the floor plan. Once the function has been selected from the toolbar, the same dialog box will appear, but you have two options in the way that you render the top view. In this case, note the 3D section is being checked. By selecting the view button, you'll then be able to place a rectangle around the area that you wish to render. Once rendered, you may wish to save this file and email it to the client or put it in a drawing. This can be done by selecting File, Save As and choosing the file type. Typically, JPEG is the smallest. We will repeat the top view rendering, this time without the 3D view checked. This time we will right mouse button select the work area, 
to redefine the selection and placement. Once rendered, you will see the top view has rendered in a pure plan mode. The next rendering style is isometric, which allows you to render the room in a 3D isometric mode. The dialog box will appear once you select the tool, and now you can select the viewer position. Once you select the view to generate the rendering, it will then appear. The last rendering style available and possibly the most popular is the perspective mode. This will give the client the most realistic impression of standing in the room. Note the dialog box is similar to the previous ones, however, note the addition of the view height in the viewing area. By selecting view, you then select the point in which you want to stand and then rotate the viewing position to encompass your design. By rightmost button selecting once you are happy with that, you can then adjust the distance of the viewing position in an art and by right mouse button selecting again, you adjust the position and adjust the camera angle and finally right mouse button to set the scope. Once satisfied with these settings, you left mouse button select the work area and the rendering process will start. Once the rendering has been completed, you can adjust the position if required by selecting the rotate icon, which will then let you adjust the position using your left mouse button to move the focus point of the design as demonstrated. You can also zoom in and out of the design using the icons or the scroll wheel of your mouse. Once satisfied with the view, you can then re-render it by selecting the refresh icon or by pressing the F5 key as described before. So once we are happy with our design view, we will refresh and re-render this design. You may wish to save this view and by once more selecting the file Save As from the pull down menu and choose your file type. Again, JPEG is the best. You may also wish to print this view out for the client and by selecting the file Print Preview, you will generate it in a title block and display it on screen, which you can then print out. In these demonstrations, we have been illustrating these renderings in texture high quality, slow speed modes. Whilst this is the best mode to display your design, we can always change it to a lesser quality mode by selecting the design op display options. In this case, we will change it to color mode with medium quality and texture. Refreshing the display will regenerate it. As you can see, we have lost the main effect of our textures and shadows from our design, as well as reducing the overall quality of the image. You can go a further step by unselecting the ceilings and floors from the design view and if desired, you can also alter the lighting properties and effects to increase and decrease the ambient light and ceiling wattage as well as displaying shadows and smoothing edges. You can also render the design in hidden line mode, which is a basic way of illustrating the design. Another popular method is rendering the texture Another popular method is rendering in the texture with edges mode, which effectively overlays the hidden line display with a full texture rendering, which provides quite an artistic look to your design. Again, you must choose refresh to regenerate the design, the rendering. This mode can also include ceilings and floors. As demonstrated, there are many different types and levels that you can render your design. Choosing the best one for your company may require some experimentation. 2020 Design also allows you to create a panoramic view of up to 360 degrees, which can be saved and emailed to the customer, allowing them to virtually stand in the center of their kitchen and look around it as well as zoom in and zoom out. Simply select the panoramic icon and set your preferences and select view. You can then place the view position in the center of your design. Note the line in the circle represents the direction from the center outwards that you'll be initially looking out to. Once you left mouse button select, the rendering process will start and again, depending on the speed of your computer, it may take some time. Once rendered, you can then drag the mouse in the direction that you wish to view and the kitchen will rotate around that direction. 
Using the control and shift keys allows you to zoom in and zoom out. You can then save this file as a QuickTime movie. The benefits of this format is it is harder for the customer to take it to a competitor and get a comparison quote. This covers rendering and elevation views in 2020 design.